so these are the four <laughs> squares the declarative knowledge of form of substance and procedural knowledge of form and substance. And all this occurs within different contexts. So I would want my students to talk about well, why do people read and write profile articles in sports pages? What work do those things do for people? And often the answer to this would be something like it helps people get a, a behind the scenes look of what athletes think about or what coaches think about. It helps humanize the, the sporting event so that people can then transfer to other areas of their life. It teaches them things about other parts of their life. But these are sort of the kinds of things that uh, I would want my students to be thinking about as they write. Okay, so these are the kinds of things that I would be looking for throughout my instruction that, that would help me plan what I would want to do, but would also help me assess what my students are understanding or not understanding, both about um, both about sports profile profile articles that appear in sports pages and about these concepts of failure and opportunity, foresight, learning, reflection, however I want to think about that. Okay. Now, as a teacher, I know I also have to think about um, how my students are going to create this piece. So I think about this in terms of the, the, the different kinds of composing. So one thing I know that my students are going to have to do there, so we have these different kinds of composing. So composing to, and for me, I like to off, often start with practice. So we're going to compose to practice. This means that we're going to, I'm going to have them practice interviewing people and pulling quotes. I'm going to have them practice writing short descriptive narrative scenes that are similar to the kinds of short descriptive narrative scenes they might open a feature article. I'm going to have them practice uh, quoting somebody and then adding a telling detail or two. So there, there are certain moves I know that writers have to make in a sports profile article that I want my kids to have lots of opportunity to do before they actually do it. Okay. Then I know that they're going to plan some things. they got to start thinking about what they want that article to look like, how they're going to put the pieces together. So we're going to have some time for them to maybe storyboard it out or sketch things out or outline things out, that kind of stuff. Okay. Here, we're not really thinking about audience a whole, a whole lot yet or the needs of the audience. Um, not yet, not entirely. Maybe a little bit with the planning, but not so much yet because the kids are, are often still trying to discover what their piece is actually going to look like. And the same thing in, in the next kind of composing, the drafting. I want them to actually write a draft. Get their ideas out of their head, from their plan, on the paper. And I tell them often that they're still going to discover things about, um, about what they have and what they don't have there. They might get to the drafting stage and realize that they have to go back out and get more information. Or they have to go out and, and interview somebody else. Or they have to work on a, a part of the article that's not quite fleshed out yet. Then, when we get to composing to finalize, this is when we have them think a lot about audience. Have them think about well, what do you, what does the audience already know about your uh, concepts? What do your audience already know about this person you're profiling or this idea that you're, that you're adding in that sports article or feature article? Those kinds of things. And then finally, at the end of the whole thing, I want my students to think long and hard about and really thoughtfully about what do they learn from this experience that they can carry to other experiences. So I'm going to have them write reflections. I'm going to have them look at what other people did and compare things. In other words, I want them to think about well, what do they learn, what moves did they make in writing this piece that they can do in other parts of their life, other kinds of things that they're going to write. We're going to look at how we transfer the procedures. We're also going to look at, well, what ideas, this declarative stuff, what ideas are they going to transfer to other areas of the life? So what is it from this feature article about opportunity and failure and foresight that they wrote about these athletes, uh, might they apply to other areas of their life or to other contexts to see similarities between athletes and maybe other kinds of performers? To think about maybe uh, how they learn or how people are teaching. You know, when you think about failure, opportunity, foresight, these are things that happen in teaching and that happen in our writing all the time. Whenever you're doing things, you have to, what is it about the moment that you recognize as a moment of opportunity? That's a key moment that we want people to think about across multiple contexts. So we're going we're gonna to try and have them name some of those things that they might transfer to other places. So 
so to me, this is sort of how I would think through um, that sort of inquiry question and the different kinds of knowledge and the different kinds of component that I would do with my students for a feature article about failure in that sort of context.